can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. So let's start with a parallelogram and let's draw four segments like this. Now this region that is colored in green have an area of eight square units. And this region colored in blue measures six square units. Now the question is what is the area of this orange region? Pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below because I will show you the solution in three, two, one. All right, so these questions look simple, but it's not. I will tell you the solution to this is definitely not as easy as it looks. All right, so the question is, what is the area of this orange region? Now, here comes the solution. So to answer this, we will use these two concepts. So we have here a trapezoid, and it cuts by the diagonal AC and BD. Now the first concept that we use is a diagonal cut the quadrilateral into four triangles of which one opposite pair have equal areas. In this case, we have N and M. They have equal areas. So we will use this concept to answer this question. This is the first one. The second is the product of the areas of two triangles formed by one diagonal equals the product of the areas of two triangles formed by the other diagonal. In this case, we have N times M equals S times T. So this is the second concept. So we will use those concepts to answer this question. All right, so let's begin. Now your question is, where is the trapezoid? I see a parallelogram. All right, here's the trapezoid. There you have it. It follows that this region 8 is equal to this region, which is the first part is x. Therefore, the other part, this white triangle, must be equal to 8 minus x. So when we add x, and 8 minus x, this will give us 8. All right. Now, how about the other trapezoid? So if this is 6, the other region, this is also equal to 6. So this must be 6 minus x. So finally, to solve for the value of x, we want all of this region must be in terms of x. That is very easy to solve for x. So to do that, First, I will show you two triangles having the same area. The first one is this triangle, and the other one is this. Because the reason is they have the same base and the same height. So the area of this triangle in the bottom part must be equal to 8 plus 6 minus x, or simply equal to 14 minus x. So the top triangle also equal to 14 minus x. But we don't have anything to get the value of this region. So let's call this as y. So this region must be equal to 14 minus x. So the remaining part must be equal to 14 minus 2x minus y. So when we add y to it and x, we have 14 minus x. So now, the goal is to find x and y, but the main goal is the value of x. First, we will now use the second concept. All right, so using this trapezoid, the second concept says, the product of the areas of the two triangles formed by one diagonal equals the product of the areas of the two triangles formed by other diagonal. So using this, we can say that 8 multiplied by x plus 8 minus x, simply equal to 8, equals y multiplied by 6 minus x plus 14 minus x. All right, simplifying this, we have a times 8 equals y multiplied by 20 minus 2x. Now, simplifying this, a times 8 is 64, factor out 2, and then divide both sides by 2. We have 32 equals y multiplied by 10 minus x. Divide both sides by 10 minus x to solve for the value of y in terms of x. So, y equals 32 over 10 minus x. There you have it. We now have the value of y in terms of x. So we can rewrite all of this region in terms of x. All right. Now, using 
the second trapezoid. And using the second concept, we have 6 times 6. We have this part, 6 times 6, multiplied by 22 minus 2x, which is this part, 22 minus 2x, multiplied by the upper part, 14 minus 2x minus y. Now, let's focus on this equation. Don't forget, the goal is to find the value of x, not the value of y. All right, first, let's simplify this equation. We have 36, 6 times 6 is 36. Factor out 2 to this expression. And then, what we're going to do here is to replace the value of y because we know y is 32 over 10 minus x. Now, we can factor out 2 in these terms, the second term. So we have here 36 equals 4 multiplied by 11 minus x multiplied by 7 minus x minus 16 over 10 minus x. Now at this point, divide both sides by 4. So we have 9 equals 11 minus x multiplied by 7 minus x minus 16 over 10 minus x. And what we're going to do is to combine the terms in this parenthesis. So we will have 7 minus x times 10 minus x minus 16 all over 10 minus x. Then multiply all of this term by 10 minus x. So we have here this equation. And then let's simplify more. 9 multiplied by 10 minus x. And we can multiply 7 minus x and 10 minus x. So we have 90 minus 9x and 70 minus 17x plus x squared. Now combining like terms, we have here 70 minus 16 is 54. Now... Multiply 11 minus x to 54 minus 17x plus x squared. We have 594 minus 241x plus 28x squared minus x cubed. And combining like terms again, we have 0 equals 504 minus 232x plus 28x squared minus x cubed. I told you the solution is not simple to solve for the value of x. By the way, this equation is the same thing as x cubed minus 28x squared plus 232x minus 504. So to solve for the value of x in this cubic equation, we will use synthetic division. So we need the factors of 504, which is 2 cubed times 3 squared times 9. And to solve for the values of x, we will use synthetic division. So let's get the coefficients. 1, negative 28, 232, and negative 504. Of course, you can check all the different values like 9. You can divide this by 8. You can divide this by 8 times 7, which is 56, and so on and so forth. But in this video, of course, I will show you the correct value of x that will make the remainder equal 0. And the answer is 14. Now let's check. Bring down 1. 1 times 14 is 14. 28, negative 28 plus 14 is negative 14. Negative 14 times 14 is negative 196. 232 minus 196 is 36. 36 times 14 is, there you have it, 504. And this will give us 0. It follows that x equals 14 is a solution to this cubic equation. And also, it tells us that x minus 14 is a factor of this cubic equation. Now, what is the other factor? We have here 1x squared minus 14x plus 36. So this is the other factor. Now we know the factors and one root of this cubic. Now unfortunately, x squared minus 14x plus 36 is not factorable. So here we will use the quadratic formula to solve for x. So now let's replace all a with 1 and b with negative 14 and c with positive 36. Now simplify, negative of negative 14 is positive 14, negative 14 squared is 196 minus 4 times 36, this will give us 52. Now 52 is 4 times 13, and 4, the square root of 4 is 2, and 14 divided by 2 is 7, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x equals 7 plus or minus square root of 13. So we found another two possible values of x in this cubic equation. So we now have 14, 7 plus square root of 13, and 7 minus square root of 13. Don't forget, this is the area of the orange region. So now, 
which one of these three values of x is the area of this orange region. Now, to determine this, we don't need this y. We don't need this area. We don't need this, and we don't need this. We only need this part, which is the area of this region, and it measures 6 minus x square units. Now, it follows since 6 minus x is the area of this region, 6 minus x must be greater than 0. So, if x is 14, 6 minus 14 is negative number. Therefore, x equals 14 is not the answer. 7 plus square root of 13, this is greater than 6. So, 6 minus 7 plus square root of 13, definitely a negative number. So, the second is not also the value of x that we want. Therefore, the value of x or the area of this orange region is equal to, ladies and gentlemen, 7 minus square root of 13. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of this orange region is equal to 7 minus square root of 13 square units. And as always, we are done.